welcome back guys and today we're going to be doing a recipe holy crap i've been wanting to do this recipe for ages but i haven't had the ingredients to do it so this is vegan 100 this is a man that is a youtuber on youtube as you as we would normally do and his name is gaz oakley and he's part of avant garden vegan which is, his channel is absolutely wicked i did his uh, ribs and they are delicious if you want to try a good rib you know you know ribs meat alternative try that one but you have to have vitamin gluten which if you know anywhere that you can get vitamin gluten in the uk please let me know leave it down in the comments just let me know so i can get that but yeah this is it and we're gonna try this is the first time i'm actually trying one of his um i've tried the milk recipe and i've tried the sausage recipe both good really good it's really good and i like it so it's going to be cream cheese so we'll have to measure out um some stuff first that i need to do okay i need to fill up the kettle and turn it on so first of all it just says that you need to like you know boil the kettle and put some cashews in a bowl so what i'm going to do is open this bad boy up if i can if not i use scissors i'm going to use scissors it's going to be a lot easier for me to use scissors I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger than that. There we go. Some ground. So I'm going to weigh my cashew nuts in here. Have the right amount of cashew. And just so you know, this makes one cup of vegan cream cheese. I've never tried these cream cheese. I want to do it because it sounds interesting, you know, and I want to try it. So I've got the cashews in here. So what he says, because um, normally if you, you need to soak your cashews because they're really hard. But if you soak, so, uh, if you put them in boiling water for about 20 minutes, they'll be softer. You can do this overnight if you have had time. But I'm just doing this recipe now and, you know, I'd like to do it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to make some cream juice. So what I'm going to do first is my cashew nuts in here. It, you don't need that much. It doesn't feel like a lot. But I'm going to be doing it with my Ninja blender. Um, if you want to know a good blend to use, Vitamix is always good, but it's so expensive. The Vitamix is like around about five hundred pound or more. It's so expensive. But if you want a good, cheap one, which is really, it's not cheap. It's like a hundred and something pound. I know it's not cheap, but it works like a treat. This is my Ninja blender, and this is it right here. It's this one, and it's so good. That one is brilliant. I cannot say enough. It is so good. It's so brilliant. I'm so happy that I've actually got it because it's such a good blender and I actually got that blender because Gaz Oakley, this guy right here, he has one of them and I thought well I might as well try it you know, did love it, fantastic. We are going to put boiling water into this thing and fill it up, I fill it up and there's water in there, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's what I've got. So it does say first up quick soak. So this is what I'm doing, quick soaking the nuts. Simply pop them into a heat proof container, done that. And then pour a heat proof container and pour over boiling water, leaving for around 20 minutes to soften while you measure out the other ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna I'm not gonna measure out the other ingredients and tell them with you, okay? So it's just gonna be a lot more easier for me to do and I think it's gonna be a lot more better. So I'm gonna soak them for 20 minutes. I'm gonna go back upstairs, finish, watch Sex in the City for 20 minutes, then come back down and we'll, we'll do the rest of the cream cheese. So I'll be back in 20 minutes. I am back and let's see if these are softened. They're pretty soft. So now I'm gonna drain them. Strain them with a sieve. <laughs> Just drain them with a sip. So I'm gonna drain these. Let's see what it's Put them back in there. So I've drained them. I'm gonna and a curve and a blade. So let's get let's get this started, shall we? Let's okay. I'm going to first. Sh I when I always get a fresh one, I open it, take the seal off, and then I close it and then I shake it. You have to shake these kind of milks just to mix everything up. I'm gonna put some get some cashew milk in here. So that's how much milk I've got in there. Then I'm going to put my soaked cashews in here. I don't know how well this is going to taste. I have no idea. I'm just like, how, how well is this going to taste? Then I need to put in a pinch of sea salt. Like I've got my sea salt. I'm pinching. There we go. And a pinch of white pepper. I don't have white pepper, so I'm just going to do ground and pepper. Just a pinch of that. And then I'm going to do... Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, which I always like flatten down. One, two, right, just done that. And then we have one tablespoon of lemon 
but I don't know how much that is. So I'm just gonna, you know, be. I'm just gonna be right back. So what I'm gonna do now is now I'm gonna put this on my thing and blend it up. It's gonna be really loud, so let's blend it. So I put one more thing in there. Can't believe I forgot it, but I did. Okay, I need to put this onion, brand new onions in. It's quarter teaspoon. How much is it? Dried onion granules. Let's try. I've got to put onion granules in there. Put everything else on the onion, 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 onion granules. And I'm putting it on ultra blend. <laughs> And he gets back to new spatula. So I'm gonna put this. So it makes one cup. So I'm gonna put this cream cheese into a container, and hopefully it does thicken. <laughs> but you know what? I have no idea how I feel about this cheese at the end. I have no idea. I've made it. It's smooth. He said the smoother it is, it's good. If you need like some more milk to smooth it out, have some more milk. Have some more milk to smooth it out. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all back. This might take a while because there's a lot of cheese in here. So this is it in the tub. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So sorry, I've got to show you what it looks like. Duh. It's not white. It's just it's just like yellow. So I'm gonna put this in the tub. So I've made the cream cheese. The cream cheese is made. So what I'm gonna do is come back tomorrow and we're gonna taste that cream cheese on a bagel with some bloody salmon. Or some bacon one, cucumber. But yeah. I will come back with you tomorrow and we shall see what the cream cheese tastes like once it's all cold. I'm upstairs and this is the try of the cream cheese i've got cream cheese on a bagel with some smoked salmon so i've tried the cream cheese on the side and it does actually taste really good you can still taste cashews but you get a hint onion and it's it is actually nice i try it on this thing and it, this is vegan salmon on top it's surface kitchen it's really weird salmon but it's vegan it tastes really good let's have a taste test of the everything with the cream cheese Once you've got all the fixes on there, the cream cheese tastes nice, so yeah. If you want to make the cream cheese by Gaz Oatly, go ahead. I think it's a win. Yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!